comedy show tonight by Islam. It was one of the best comedy shows that I've seen in quite some time. I've even seen George Carlin live, but this made me laugh even more. I would definitely love to come and see him again. I'm at LAX and they open my passport they go like, your name is Islam? Sir, where the hell did you learn English? It's Islam. And you're from Iran? I ran. I don't care if you ran. Okay, lose weight. I don't care. But I'm from Iran. That's where Saddam Hussein was, right? No, that's Iraq. And that is, you know, they're two different countries. There's a big difference between them. Like what? Well, Iran is the one with the weapons of mass destruction. If you don't, no. <laughs> if you don't believe me, ask my friend Mahmoud Ahmadinejad. I mean, Ahmadinejad. And then it goes like, you mean really? Today was a great day. I really enjoyed Islam's performance. He exceeded everything that I even thought of. I really, really enjoyed myself today. Your name is Islam? Is that really your name? I'm like, no, I just chose this name right after September 11. <laughs> <laughs> just so when I'm at the airport, I get searched. Cavity search. <laughs> I tell you, I'm starting to like it. <laughs> now, don't get me wrong, I'm not gay. My boyfriend is, though. He was at the perfect <laughs> was fabulous tonight. He was hilarious. I was laughing all night. Uh, my stomach aches tonight from uh, all his jokes. It was great. I actually love women. I love everything about women, from head to toe and in between, which makes me a lesbian by Los Angeles standards. <laughs> guys that like guys, women like women here. I love your impressions of singers and your hilarious guy. I do it and I'm like, would you mind remove, removing your underwear? I'm not, you're not going to find Osama up my ass and that's when you get handcuffed. But before you get handcuffed, you end up doing the Iranian Macarena dance. Have you seen the Iranian Macarena? It's Iranian Macarena. So, and these smart asses, they go like, uh, have you thought of changing your name? I'm like, why? He goes, your name is so ugly. Like, sir, Islam means peace. And if you don't like my name, you can kiss my associate degree from UCLA. <laughs> Thank you very much. A comedian who was as proficient in English as he is in Persian was, uh, was the best part. It was hilarious. Please do not drink and drive because you're going to hit a speed bump and waste that drink completely. You spill it. <laughs> enjoyed today's show at Islam Shams. Um, it was just fantastic. I really, really enjoyed all of the funny jokes he had to make and I thought it was phenomenal. He's one of a kind. I remember when I was uh, hanging out at the party, it was the most confusing time for us. Uh, when I was uh, with my hanging out with my friends, uh, Juan and Tyrone, the Mexican and the black, well, you can figure out which one was which. And uh, they go like, hey, yo, Anthony. Well, Islam in English means Anthony. Uh, you want to get high? Like, what? You want to get high? What? Hi. Hi, how are you? No, uh, you want to get stoned? Like, no, I did not have sex with a married woman. Why do you want to stone me? You got to realize, when you say you want to stone someone, you, you get stoned, you literally get stoned. And I'm like, no, man, you want to smoke some grass? I'm like, America, why do you get it? Can't it eat? Here, after they cut it, get ass, they recycle it, and they smoke it. Yes, why not? Uh, it was a really good show. It's the funniest guy on the planet. He's really funny. He's really the best Persian comedian I've ever seen. I can barely speak Persian, but I really enjoyed it. I'd recommend it to anyone. Well, you, you know, and you know when you smoke grass, you talk a lot of shit that make no sense. Right, sir? Right? You do, you do, you do grass? Coke? Pepsi? What do you do, man? You just hold the microphone, imaginary microphone in front of you. Now you put your hand down. What the hell? <laughs> Anyhow, so uh, we, we, we took a, a you know, puff at a joint and like uh, one grabs the joint and it goes like, uh, the subject of where Jesus was from, uh, was from came up. And it's like, well, Jesus had to be Mexican because his name was Jesus. <laughs> his mother didn't know who his father was and he was always in trouble with the law. I'm like, what the heck? Give me that, that stupid cigarette. Jesus was not Mexican, he was not Belaki either. I prove it to you, and if you argue with me, I take you hostage. Okay? <laughs> Jesus was Persian because he lived in his mother's house till he was 33 years old. And just like, 
uh, he went in the same business as his father and because his mother told him to because you know if you're Persian if the neighbor's son is an engineer you have to be God okay and just like every Persian boy he thinks his mother is a virgin and his mother's son thinks his son is God's gift to women all over the world and no woman on earth is ever worthy of her son Glad I got to hear a little bit more about being Persian and being American. More Americans and see your, see your show. I, I particularly like the uh, inspections that you had going at the airport. With how expensive the gas is nowadays, if you drive 10 miles to return an item to a 99 cent store, you might be Persian. If you ask for a price check at the 99 cent store, you might be Persian. If you get a job at the 99 cent store, so when you shop there, you get 50% discount, not discount, but discount, you might be Persian. Do Persians know what a cunt means? <laughs> no, no, they don't, they don't. Okay, I just want, because we say it every day, I say, my friend, give me discount. It's like, excuse me, that's my wife you're talking about. <laughs> if you haggle over the price of the stamp at the post office, you might be Persian. If you lose 10 pounds while shaving your back, you might be an Arab. However, if you lose 5 pounds, you might be Persian. If your biggest dilemma in life is pork half price on sale, you might be a Muslim or a Jewish Persian. If, you, if, you, if your parents come to this country twice a year to collect their SSI checks, even though they haven't lived a freaking day in this country, you might be Persian. If you talk about talk shit about your wife to your mother, you might be Persian. And if you divorced your wife five years ago, your first wife, remarried, and still don't let your first wife date any other men in the world. I see a lot of open sores here now. <laughs> Uh, if you get checks under four social security numbers, yet you constantly bitch and complain, oh, America is not the country to live in. This is not my homeland. You might be Persian. If, uh, if after 35 years in this country, you still cannot spell worth shit, you might be Persian. If by looking at a woman's ankle, you go, mm, mm, mm. What a nice piece of Ajab TKE. You might be Saudi Arabian. If your sister is hairier than you, you might be Persian. If a, if a day comes that the law changes in America and as a, foreigner, as a foreigner, you become the President of the United States, your parents are sitting in the front row and your, uh, the Americans are sitting around them and everyone turns to your parents and say, congratulations, your son is the President of the United States, you must be really proud of him. Your father or your mother, or both of them simultaneously in stereo, they go, Oh, no, 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 no. You should see his two other brothers. One is a doctor, the other one is an engineer. You might be Persian. I enjoyed the show tonight, uh, learning about Islam and that Islam can actually be entertaining and Islam can be funny and engaging. And I'd never experienced Islam like this before, and I was um, finding myself enjoying it immensely. Uh, I thought in particular that the impersonation of Elvis was particularly effective and uh, the most spot-on impersonation. A lot of people always, uh, when I'm at the grocery stores or in the restaurant, they stare at me. And I used to think it was because I got an Oscar for West Bank story, but they come up and I'm like, can I help you? Like, yeah, uh, has anyone ever told you uh, you look like that Iranian comic, Islam? No offense. <laughs> I'm take it. Thank you very much. Yeah, I get that a lot. I get that a lot. But you know, speaking of fat, I have actually lost eight pounds. So thank you very much. Yeah, it took me 30 years, but I did want to lose it. Everyone tells me, uh, have you tried Jenny Craig? I have actually. Bitch is too old, she doesn't even move, so it's not even worth it. Truly <laughs> really wonderful and amazing is Islam. Once you hear and once you learn, then you really love Islam. Islam, this was the greatest show ever. We really fell in love with it. I'm talking about the Islamic Shams, who did a wonderful job tonight of bringing the world closer together, making it a better place to live.
because we have a better understanding and it was really truly wonderful so we really loved it. Uh, I'm a Jewish myself, half Jewish, half Muslim. I, my father is Jewish and my mother is Muslim which makes her Jewish automatically by injection, right? <laughs> and, uh, the, the thing about fasting, a lot of people tell me because my name is Islam, they say, do you fast? But the thing is, they say a good Muslim is the one that can fast like the old times, like the prophets and the imams did, like they uh, eat one date in the morning, one date to break it at night. Well, I don't mind eating two dates to, to do the fasting, but my dates are Persians. They don't like me to eat them, and if I do, they don't like me to kiss them afterwards. They're just not into it, you know? Right. So, when you talk about Islam, I don't even know if we want to go there, but this Islam, Anthony, he is great. I enjoyed that very much. Thank you. And another thing, you confirm what the Persians are really about tonight for me. The show was beautiful. We enjoyed every moment of it. All the jokes, all sided. Great. Why do they refer to women's, uh, you know, that time of the month as menstruation? It happens to women. Why don't they call it womenstruation? Seriously. Uh, or 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 uh, uh, dictionary? Is it just for women? <laughs> Seriously, blind people intrigue me all it. How can blind people tell their butt is clean when they go to the bathroom? <laughs> Think about it. Seriously. Seriously. Uh, in a sunny day, in a sunny day, if you don't have sunglasses or there's no shade, you squint your eyes to protect your eyes, right? Yeah. Here's my question. Why do Chinese and Japanese wear sunglasses? Their eyes are already like this. <laughs> Why can't you ask a woman's age, but the same woman will screw up your day, make your day a living hell if you forget her birthday? <laughs> think about it. It's something to think about. So, uh, I thought the show was great. I loved it when you were talking about your girlfriend, Carol, your ex-girlfriend, and uh, the dancing and the poetry. It's very funny, very funny. You know how many Palestinians it takes to screw in a light bulb? None. They all sit in the dark and blame the Jews for it. <laughs> You're animated so well that I could understand a lot of it. Even though, I could, you know, it was really funny. I thought it was great. Very, very good. Yeah. Yeah, great. A lady called me today and I didn't let her know that it was me answering the phone because as soon as they know it's me, Give me some discounts, give me some, and it's not discount, it's discount. They want the cunt and the disc right before it. So they go like, um, oh, can I, I speak to Islam Shams? No, he's not available, man. Okay, tonight's show, where is it? And I said, how did you find out about it? Go, well, on YouTube. And I said, well, the whole information is on YouTube for you then. He goes, how much is it to get in? But then it's free, no cover charge. Really? Okay, okay, we are coming, party of 17. Yeah, this is how much you can count on Persians when they say they're coming. Maybe she came, I don't know. <laughs> I wasn't there and I didn't hear her moaning or anything like that. But uh, he goes, uh, what about parking? Parking is free, man. Oh, okay. And uh, you know that comedy clubs in Los Angeles, you always have to drink. Uh, uh, I am Muslim, a good Muslim, and I don't drink. Uh, you don't have to worry about the drink. They water it down so much, you know, it's just like you drink your water. So, uh, and then it goes like, uh, so let me get this. You're doing a comedy show, no cover charge, uh, no drink minimum, as you say. And uh, parking is free. Uh, what about the dinner? Do you include dinner? And I said, yes, if you give me a BJ, I'll give you dinner. But, oh, you need a DJ there? I said, no, 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 no. Do you know how to give a BJ? He goes, what's a BJ? I said, are you married? No. Do you have a boyfriend? No. Well, that's the reason. If you knew BJ, you would have a husband and a boyfriend. Anyhow. So, thank you very much combination of all cultures and nationality and uh, which brought out the best and the positive and the negatives in a com comedy fashion. And then it was like, so seriously, have you thought of doing stand-up comedy? So I'm here doing stand-up comedy for you, ladies and gentlemen.